Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elumir TV. Nursat office in Jordan, represented by its director, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, and the team, is pleased to offer the highest congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II, his Crown Prince, and the One Jordanian family on the new Hijri year. Praying to God to keep His Majesty and precious Jordan safe and stable, and the Arab nation in more progress and prosperity. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis calls on believers to pray for the care of the creation. 8,000 Catholics from the United States and Galilee gathered at Beit El Jalil Center for the new Preachers Movement meeting. We also have the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary organized two spiritual sessions for 40 people from Jordan, Palestine, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Egypt. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis called on believers to pray for the care of the creation and take care of their common home. Adding in a letter addressed as the International Day of Prayer for the Care of the Creation approaches this year, which falls on the first day of September. The Anthem of the Sweet Creation invites us to practice a spirit alert to God's presence in the natural world. It is a call to base our spirituality on the loving awareness that we are not separated from the rest of the creations, but we are with the rest of the creatures, a beautiful cosmic company. Hence, we must resume prayers in the Cathedral of the Great Creation and to enjoy the great cosmic choir of countless creations singing the songs of praise to God. And His Holiness went on to say, Let us sing with Saint Francis. Thank God for all your creatures and to sing with the owner of Psalm and to sing with the owner of Palm. Every breeze may praise the Lord. With these bitter cries, we must repent and change our lifestyle on harmful systems and start a new relationship with God and a different relationship with others and with creation, as this is an essential part of good life. Pope Francis reminded of the advice of St. Paul to rejoice with the joyous and cry with the crying, so that we can, with future generations, be able to rejoice in the sweet anthem of life and hope for creation. In a meeting held in the hall of the Cathedral of the Gospel of Abdali, Father Alexandros Mahamre, head of the Department of Ecclesiastical Arts in the Greek Orthodox Diocese, welcomed the students at the School of Basilitarian who are participating in the new hymn course. The meeting, which was attended by Father Pendlemon and Father Irenius, began the prayer of reverence of water and the blessing of the new and old students and congratulated them on overcoming the stage of admission. He also expressed his joy at the increase in students who are intended to become chanters in our holy churches in our beloved country and spoke about the grace of the Holy Spirit that brought them together for the world of Christ. During the meeting, Professor Shukri Khouri spoke about the importance of hymns and the urgent need to spread them in all our churches to continue in the message of chanting and the approach of the choir who served and continue to serve with the utmost responsibility and commitment. The meeting was concluded with the distribution of certificates to students who participated in the previous foundation session. The meeting ended in taking commemorative photographs of the participants with the hearts full of spiritual joy and the joy of spreading the message of hymns. About 8,000 young Catholics from the United States and Galilee gathered at Beit El Jalil Center to participate in the meeting of the New Preachers Movement. The meeting included hymns, prayer, and reading of the Holy Gospel. In addition to the sermon of His Excellency Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of the Latins in Jerusalem, who focused on the importance of living the Beatitudes in our daily lives. The pilgrimage program for the youth of the United States included a visit to the Holy Places and trips to Jordan and Egypt. Such youth experience aimed to discover the roots of faith in the land of Christ by following in his footsteps. The media meetings held by the General Secretariat of the League of Arab States, the media and communication sector, in cooperation with the Arab Commission for Satellite Broadcasting, concluded in Amman. Over the course of three days, the meeting discussed several important issues, such as the role of the media in confronting extremism and terrorism, the effects of electronic media and electronic games on societies and generation and its dangers to children and young adults, in addition to several related topics. The Franciscan Missionaries of Mary, with the support of the Papal Mission and the Jesuit Center in Amman, organized two spiritual sessions for 40 people from Jordan, Palestine, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon and Egypt, represented by Father Zaki Sadr, the Jesuit. During the two sessions that were held at Our Lady of Peace Center, Airport Road, the participants discovered the wounds they had passed and expressed in different ways. Father Zaki helped the participants to discover the ways in which they can turn these wounds into a reason for life. The roving clans concluded their joint scout camp 
which was set up by a group of Northern Latin Scouts and Guides in Zarqa, in partnership with the Zababda Scouts and Guides Company in Palestine. The opening ceremony of the camp, which was held in the Latin Church of Al-Fuhis, was attended by Father Iyad Badr, Father Louis, Mr. Abdurrahman Zawahri, and several scout leaders and lecturers, who contributed greatly to the success of the camp, which included sports activities and various and meaningful spiritual sessions. A special prayer was held in St. Ephraim Syriac Orthodox Cathedral in Swafiya, Amman, for the comfort of Mar Gabriel Daho, the patriarchal vicar in Jerusalem and the Holy Land, who moved to the heavenly glories in Jerusalem, where his body was transferred from Amman to his final resting place in Maret Sednaya in Syria. This was attended by several priests and a group of parishioners. A ceremony took place in Amman to receive the body of the Triangle of Mercy, Gabriel Daho at St. Ephraim's Syriac Orthodox Cathedral in Swafiya. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis called on believers to pray for the care of the creation. 8,000 Catholics from the United States and Galilee gathered at Beit al-Jalil Center for the New Preachers Movement meeting. The Franciscan Missionaries of Mary organized two spiritual sessions for 40 people from Jordan, Palestine, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Egypt. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.